since I was uh, very young, I've always been a, a collector and a curator. It was kind of the natural progression to uh, expand the house to accommodate my collections from uh, all my travels all over the world. I call this space the, the Museum of the New Alchemy, referring to transition of materials. There are uh, 11 levels in the house. Each room is sort of laid out. Uh, some have more of a defined theme. Odd, funny things, scary. As long as it incites some kind of reaction, then I think that's mission accomplished. The whole project of Luna Park is all very intertwined with everything that I do. My life as an artist. It's my joy. It's also my curse. It's my dream and my nightmare and all that stuff all put together. But all in all, it's a lot of fun living here. My name is Ricky Boscarino, and we are here at my home, which I call Luna Park. So in uh, 1989, I bought a uh, somewhat dilapidated hunting cabin. It was on this beautiful piece of property on five acres of woods. And as soon as I laid eyes on that house, I knew that that would be the place I'd spend the rest of my life. And if there had to be any like magic, like spark or epiphany, that would be it. So it started with basic renovation, uh, had to be winterized since it was just a uh, hunting cabin. I did a little mosaic walkway, and then I started covering other parts of the house. There's literally thousands of square feet of mosaic in and around the house. Uh, stained glass windows uh, all throughout the house I made, as well as all the woodworking and uh, the construction of the houses, all attributed to my upbringing in a household of craftsmen. So, the more my skills got honed, I was able to take on much bigger projects. I started to expand the house for my art collection, my oddities collection. It was a natural progression to want to cover the facades with mosaic. Most recently, I just completed a project on the side of the house, uh, which is uh, my chimney, which took uh, on and off about 10 years. I really love the process, but I especially love the result. Contrary to what most people think, that it's all fun and games, uh, the reality is it's only 50% fun and games. I have a jewelry business and I do uh, ceramic work, and that's uh, what supports the whole project. Strictly 100% is my work. About five years ago, I established a nonprofit foundation. We do a lot of art education, and ultimately, the foundation will then inherit this whole project and operate it as a museum. Just this year, I uh, just passed my 30 year anniversary of the house, and literally, it's been nonstop for 30 years. And there's really no end in sight, and someday, um, when I finally uh, go on to the next plane, um, then the project will be done. My mind is always working, it's always on the go, so even when I'm at rest and sleeping, my mind is still on the next project. Buying this original house at Luna Park allowed me the freedom to expand and really grow and explore all different medium. My name is Ricky, this is Luna Park, and there is no place like home. <laughs>